everyone. Welcome to the Dog Mom Knits podcast, episode 17. My name is Amanda, and you can find me on Instagram as Dog Mom Knits, on Ravelry as Dog Mom Knits 08. And we do have an email address for this podcast, and that is dogmomknits at gmail.com. I am coming to you from coastal Virginia, where I live with my husband, Sean, and our three dogs, Bandit, Copper, and Finley, and our exchange student, Daria. This is a knitting podcast where I talk all about my crafty adventures, and you can find everything linked in the down bar below. All the shops, podcasts, products, all of it will be linked down below. If I miss anything, please comment or send me an email. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are a new viewer, I hope you like what you see and um, like and subscribe if um, if this content is something that you are enjoying. So today is October 9th. Um, I am podcasting a week later than I usually do because the day after I recorded my last podcast, I got sick with the flu. <laughs> um, I don't know anyone else who has the flu or had the flu at that time. Um, it was very early. It was mid-September when I got the flu. And yeah, and I was sick for a good two weeks um, and couldn't knit, did not have the brain space to knit. I did not have the brain space to do anything except kind of stare off into space and wish I wasn't sick. So, um, there wasn't any point in recording a podcast last weekend because I didn't have anything to show. <laughs> so, I was like, that's okay. I'll just record a week late and and actually have some knitting content to share with you. So, yeah, I will still put up a podcast next week, but it actually won't be a podcast. It will be a Rhinebeck blog. So, if you you don't know, Rhinebeck is the, um, it's kind of the nickname, I guess, for the New York Sheep and Wool Festival, which is held in Rhinebeck, New York in Dutchess County. And my best friend, Jenny, and I are going to be there Saturday and Sunday. So if you are going and you see me, um, please come over and say hi. Please come over and um, take a picture with me and I will have buttons and I would love to give you a button and just meet all of you who have such, are like so important to me and to my family. And I consider you my friends and I would love to meet you guys in person. Um, if you know that you're going to be like on the hill at a certain time for somebody's meetup, um, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. And, um, you know, that might be something I want to go to. I don't know. I only know of one meetup right now, and it's Natalie of Knitty Natty, um, three o'clock on the hill on Saturday. So I am going to do my best to be there for that one. But that's the only one I know of as of right now. But again, if you see me, please say hi. If you aren't sure, like I, you know, does she want us to interrupt her? Yes. She does. <laughs> I would love to be interrupted um, to meet all of my friends in person. So, um, so this is going to go up on Wednesday, which is 10, 11, 12, the 12th. And then the following Wednesday, um, I hope to have a Rhinebeck vlog up. And you'll get to meet Jenny because I'm going to convince her somehow. <laughs> Not sure how yet. But I'm going to convince her that um, she needs to come on and meet you guys. Because, excuse me, I talk about you guys. I talk about her all the time. I talk about you guys all the time with her. So I think it's just time that you guys met. So that's what's coming. Um, I kind of already segued into Dog Mom Knits news. So I guess I'll just keep that going. Um, I did have a pattern release. Um, in the beginning of, no, excuse me, at the end of September, and it was my It's Fall Y'all socks. So it's, this is what my, this is what my version looks like. 
Um, it uses a 100 gram main skein and a 20 gram mini, and it has that beautiful falling leaves lace pattern. So this is available on Ravelry and Lovecrafts, and I will have both stores located, uh, excuse me, linked down below. If you knit this pair of socks, please go to the Dog Mom Knits Ravelry group page, and if you can, because I know Ravelry is not accessible to everybody, and there's an, a thread to talk about the It's Fall Y'all socks, and I will be closing that on December, I think it's the 19th, because the first day of winter is the 20th, or I'll close it the 20th, because the first day of winter is the 21st. Um, and I will be giving, sending someone a prize, just to thank you for um, knitting my pattern and joining me in my little part of the community. So yeah, Ravelry and Lovecrafts if you're interested. Um, oh, and you can use the hashtag. I think the hashtag is it's fall y'all socks um, for Instagram, but I'll put it down here um, to make sure I'm getting it right. So that's it for Dog Mom Knits news. So let's go into FOs. I only have one FO because like I said, I was super sick. Oh my goodness. That flu was so bad. Um, I mean, I, I didn't get out of bed for four days because I couldn't. I didn't have the energy to get out of bed. It was intense. I've had several people who are friends of mine that knew how sick I was say that they got the flu shot just because of how sick I was. Yeah, it was, it was not fun. But I do have one finished object and it is my Desert Vista Dye Work socks for September. These are National Ice Cream Month. I do have both of them. I absolutely love these socks. I love the colors. I love the way it's like solid speckle, solid speckle. This is definitely one of my favorite colorways that I have knit from her. So they are done. Sadly, I did not finish them in September. Um, because I got so sick, um, I could not finish them. So that takes me out of the running for the year long skein of yarn that you get if you do all 12 months. And so I'm actually not going to be finishing out the year. Um, I'm not going to do October, November, and December for the Desert Vista Dye Works 8th Annual Monthly Sock Club. Um, I'm just going to move on to my Christmas knitting and some other things that I really want to cast on and, um, and save those last three. I do have three skeins of yarn that were going to be my October, November, and December socks, um, and I'll save those for a later time. But I love them. So again, that's my only FO because, uh, because I was so sick. So sick. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure those stay somewhat out of the way and out of the attention of a Finley, because you know how much she loves yarn. So I'll move into wits. I feel like I'm going through this really fast. Actually, let me grab my socks. So these socks were knit on US 1.5 needles. Chow goo, I always knit my socks on chow goo. Um, I did 64 stitches on a US 1.5. Um, I did a 15 row cuff, a 60 row leg. I did the OMG heel by Megan Williams. I knit the foot to, um, I forget what the measurement is, but I have it marked on my sock ruler, which for this pair of socks was 75 rows. And then I did the rounded toe that the crazy sock lady includes in her patterns. This is becoming my go-to vanilla recipe. 15 rows for the cuff, 60, OMG heel, between 75 and 80, depending on my measurement, and then a rounded toe. So if I'm gonna do a vanilla sock, this is pretty much what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so, 
move on to whips. So I am only going to show the whips that I am actively working on. I do have a lot on the needles right now, but they're kind of in this, I don't know, weird rotation of I work on something for a couple of weeks and then I work on something else for a couple of weeks. And I don't know, it's working for me. So I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth between projects. Um, but the first one that I'm working on fairly regularly is in my Molly Klein Design Gilmore Girls bag. I love this bag so much. One of the first project bags I ever got. And it is my, I'm sorry, it is so tangled up in this bag. Um, it is my Muscle Burrow hat that I am working on. I am a little bit further than I was last time. Again, it's just, there's just not going to be a ton, a ton of progress on my projects because um, I didn't knit for two weeks, the last two weeks of September, pretty much. Um, but that's how far I've gotten so far. I'm using a stitch marker from Three by the Sea Designs, which I usually do. <laughs> um, I love still how this is striping up. It's just such a fun, it's just going to be such a beautiful muscle burrow hat. Um, I am using, sorry, let me grab it, um, Chameleon Color Works in the colorway Lily. There it is. It's not going to focus though, so I don't know why I show you guys. Um, Lily of the Valley. Um, this is a Christmas present for Daria, so it, our exchange student. So this does have a little bit of a deadline to it, but this is really nice to have just as, you know, mindless in the round knitting. So that's the first whip that's getting my attention. The second whip is in a Christmas bag from the guy who sews, which is my husband. This is my Christmas baking bag. I absolutely love this bag. Oh, it's so cute. And it has gingerbread men and women on the inside. And I grabbed my, one of my Christmas bags because I have started my Christmas knitting. So I bought a skein of Tropical Christmas by Three by the Sea Designs, and I am knitting a sock for my husband, Sean. He is, those colors are so not showing up. <laughs> Finley and Copper are playing King of the Mountain. Um, so they're jumping around trying to see who can have my chair because I'm not sitting in it right now. They were in their crates for a while yesterday, and Finley is getting all of that excess energy out. It's really funny. <laughs> um, this color is not showing up at all on this camera. It is so bright and so fun. And if anyone knows my husband, if you've watched his YouTube channel, um, he is Australian. And so he is used to Christmas in the middle of summer. And so when I saw this colorway from Kim of Three by the Sea Designs, I was like, yeah, I have to have that for him. And I have to knit a pair of socks for him um, just because I think it is so, that's a little bit better on the color. Um, it's so just what he enjoys. He always complains that Christmas is too cold. Um, even though here in Virginia, coastal Virginia, it can be 60 or 70 on Christmas day. And he still swears that that's too cold. He wants it to be 90 or a hundred. Um, that's his jam, I guess. But I am using the string of lights pattern by sock witchery. I like using that pattern for Sean because, um, and I don't want to give too much away because it's a paid for pattern but it's got a little bit of texture to it. So it just makes the socks a little more, um, like a little more stretchy. I, they tend to fit him better if I include a pattern that has um, some stretch. And I am using a Progress Keeper from Three by the Sea Designs. And I do have my light bulb stitch markers on here because I use the Crazy Sock Ladies technique of marking 10 rounds with, um, a light bulb stitch marker to make it easier to count your rows. So this is only the first sock. I cast it on Tuesday or Wednesday 
um, and just did the cuff. And then I did all of this yesterday while we were out of the house on an adventure with Daria, which I will talk about later. Um, so it's going pretty quick. Um, I've done like 45 rows. And for Sean, I do a 60 row leg um, because that's what he likes um, for when he goes to work. He wears his hand knitted socks when he um, when he works in the office. Um, so yeah. I'm going to knit him socks. I'm going to ask him, how many rows do you want? You know, instead of trying to guess. I wish you guys could see how beautiful this colorway was. Kim completely outdid herself. It is totally gorgeous and not at all what you're seeing on, <laughs> on camera. I'm, I'm also really proud of myself for the fact that I have already started my Christmas knitting. Usually I like procrastinate starting that because I have so many other things that I want to knit and I am super proud that my Christmas knitting has started. That does not mean that I in any way expect to make my Christmas knitting goals because I don't but you know at least I'm giving myself a fighting chance this year by starting now. So the only other whip that I am actively working on is my Stephen West Mystery Knit Along Twists and Turns. And um, so Clue One came out this past Thursday. I have been working on it. I love it. I love my color combinations, but I know people avoid spoilers. And so I'm not going to show, um, I'm not going to show my project here on the podcast, just out of respect for you guys, if you don't want to see it. I will, however, happily show you what it looks like if you send me a dm on instagram um i will happily share pictures and want to see your pictures but you know i do know that the spoilers are a big deal for people and so i want to be respectful of that so those are the only whips that are getting a lot of my time i really do feel like i'm whipping through this like Am I just not saying a whole lot of what I would normally say? Sean said he's rubbing off on me, my husband, because his podcasts, if you if you've not watched one of his podcasts, his podcasts are between 10 and 12 minutes long. And I think that's funny. I didn't say needle sizes. I'm knitting my muscle burrow hat on size four needles and Sean's socks are the same as mine. They're on a US 1.5 64 stitches. So I don't know. I guess maybe this is just going to be a fast episode. So acquisitions. I actually don't have a lot of acquisitions because I was too sick to shop. I am participating in the pigskin party, which is a knit along hosted by Boston Jen, who is Boston Jen one on Instagram. And she has all the rules and everything and I won't go into it because I know I won't get them all right. But I do know that one of the rules is that if you use a sponsor product, she has sponsors for the knit along. If you use a sponsor product, you get bonus points. And so I was clicking through the sponsors and I landed on JD Studios 480, who is a bag maker on Etsy. And when I saw this bag, I was like, oh yes, I must have it. And then the bonus points are literally just a bonus. So, God, look at it. So it's polka dots and then rainbows forgive all the dog hair and then polka dots. And there's a snap and a drawstring and a handle. I love this bag. And this is currently what my Stephen West Mystery Knit Along is in. So I can tip it and kind of show you a little bit of the inside. There's a pocket in there as well. But that's what it looks like inside. You can see my yarn. Everything fits really, really well in there. Um... And I have been using this for the last couple days as I've been knitting this, um, the mystery knit along. And it's amazing. It's so good. Really, really happy with this bag. So 
That's my first acquisition. Love it and love that it gets me bonus points. Then my only other acquisition, I can't really show it to you. That's not true. Those aren't my only acquisitions. I can't really show it to you because I purchased the Halloween stitch marker countdown from Three by the Sea Designs. So this is the envelope that says open me first. <laughs> it is a stitch marker countdown the last 13 days of the month and through the countdown with each stitch marker that you open, you get another piece of a story that Becky, who is one third of Three by the Sea Designs, wrote for this stitch marker countdown. So this is the invitation. So I am not going to do um, Vlogtober because we just have so much going on and I was sick and I was like, no, I'm good. Um, but I am planning to open each of these on my Instagram stories, excuse me, beginning October 19th, I believe. October 19th gets me to, like that's 13 days before Halloween. So I'm gonna open them on my Instagram stories and read the story and like read the story that's in the stitch marker um, countdown and show the stitch marker. And I will be doing this after school, so it will be in the evenings. So if you have the same countdown, you know, it'll be like seven or eight o'clock at night, probably. So it won't, hopefully it won't be a spoiler for you. Um, okay, so I wrote down that those were my only two um, acquisitions in my notes and then realized that that's not my only acquisitions. I have, I needed one more skein of yarn to do the year. And like I said, I'm not doing a full year of the Desert Vista Dye Works um, Mystery Knit Along, but I'm not Mystery Knit Along, sorry. Eighth Annual Desert Vista Dye Works Monthly Sock Club. But I had the yarn and I'm fine with that. I love this yarn. Um, it's, so it looks like this. I haven't even taken it out because I want to keep it. And it is so not showing up true to color on here either. It is very bright um, and it is called Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. That is one of my all time favorite movies. Have you guys seen that movie? Let me know down below. It's on Disney Plus, I know that. It came out, I wanna say around the same time as Mary Poppins and is like the same vibe as Mary Poppins kind of. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, you should totally watch it. Like, this is my plug for that movie. It is so good. And so when I saw that she had a, I'm sorry for the crinkling. When I saw that she had this colorway and it looks like it's got some speckles in it, like my ice cream, I was like, yes, I need that in my life because it is seriously one of my favorite movies. Cannot wait to watch it with Daria um, during our American movie nights, um, which we do on Saturdays. And then... The only other, the only other thing that I forgot I did is the Crazy Sock Lady is closing Crazy Sock Lady Co., which is her online shop. And she had things on sale that I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just, and you know, some of these things are not going to be stocked again. And I was like, okay, let's just go ahead and get them. So um, I got a bunch of little things. I got a pocket scale to weigh um, my yarn in my yarn packages. I got a team cuff down enamel pin from Monster Knits. I got a crazy sock lady progress keeper. I got a 30 minutes, ah, sorry. I got a 30 minutes of knitting progress keeper. And I got a team cuff down progress keeper. I also got a scrappy Sunday enamel pin from Monster Knits and a crazy sock lady enamel pin from Monster Knits. So now that is all of my acquisitions. <laughs> Forgot all about those. I'm sorry, I'm putting them back in my box so Finley doesn't um, decide to chew on everything. Yes, she does. 
So I'll go ahead into life stuff. Um, so if you're not interested in that, and that's totally fine. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one, which again will be my Rhinebeck vlog that will go up next Wednesday, which I believe is the 19th, October 19th. Um, so life stuff. Daria, our exchange student, is still doing amazing. She is rocking it at school. She is so kind and so sweet and she has just been such a welcome addition to our family and we could not be more happy that she is here with us um she and i did not make it to the state fair um i was way too sick and um she had a sleepover with some other exchange students and was <laughs> completely exhausted as you should be if you have done a sleepover correctly. So Sean went and I posted the pictures on Instagram, but Sean keeps telling me that I need to make sure I talk about it here on the podcast. So the first thing I entered in the state fair was my, does that have our address on it? No, it just says Chesapeake, um, was my seashells socks that I knit out of the Yarnable colorway Mermazing. Um, and this pair of socks, I am just over the moon. Um, it got a blue ribbon. They got a blue ribbon. And I think that's just amazing. And I am really proud of myself and really surprised because I don't know. I just think I knit. <laughs> like I just knit. And for it to be acknowledged in such a like prominent way. Um, I don't know. It just it feels very surreal, I guess. Um, I also put in my Stephen West mystery knit along from last year, which was shawlography. And you can see that got a blue ribbon as well. So, yeah, isn't that crazy? It's crazy. And I'll show off my shawlography because I love this thing. And the, how much I love this is what is keeping me going during the craziness that is clue one of Twists and Turns. Because if you know, you know. So, yeah, two, two blue ribbons for me. At the state fair. I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm in awe. I don't know. I'm proud of myself for sure. Um, it's just, I don't know. All I, all I do is knit, I guess. Like I just follow the pattern. But it's nice to know that people like what I knit because I love what I knit. So. Um, so we missed, so Daria and I missed going to the state fair, but we did go on an adventure Saturday. We went apple picking to an orchard that is, um, about three hours from us, but they're amazing. And so, oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful thing. And it was such a beautiful day. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to put in some pictures here of us apple picking. I hope you enjoy them because it was really, really fun. So the only other big thing going on in my life is school. I am a middle school English teacher, if this is your first time watching. Um, school is busy. Um, it's going to always be busy, but it does seem like we're settling into a routine, and that is really nice. Um, it doesn't feel so overwhelming, and, you know, I kind of, I don't feel like I'm constantly having to check my calendar and, okay, what's going on? It's like, you know. There's there. It just feels like there's a routine to um, 
to school, to every day at school. Um, I abandoned or I finished the book I was reading last time, which I'm going to look in my notes and see what the name of it was because I don't even remember. Oh, it was the Knit and Nibble series, book five. I finished it and I was done. I am done with that series. I think I even like finished it by skipping about 100 pages and just figuring out who the killer was. And then I started reading another series about a candle maker. And I only got about 50 or so pages into that and was like, okay, yeah, no, this is not for me. And so I went back to a tried and true favorite series of mine. It is the Inn at Holiday Bay series by Kathy Daly. I am reading book number 20, which is called Pawn in the Pumpkin Patch. And yeah, I'm just a big fan of that series. I like series that have a lot of books because I feel like every time I go back to read one, it's like I'm going back to meet with old friends. So I'm excited. I'm excited that I'm, you know, and it's, you know, October. So Pawn in the Pumpkin Patch seems like a good choice for, for my book. Um, Daria and I are still watching Gilmore Girls. Um, we're not done with it yet because I found the first two seasons of The Great British Baking Show on the Roku channel. And these are the two series that were like never released on PBS. So I had never seen them before. And she doesn't usually like baking competition shows, but she really likes Great British Baking Show. So we've been kind of going back and forth between um, Gilmore Girls and Great British Baking Show. We are in season two of Great British and I think it's season five of Gilmore Girls. Rory just met Logan for the first time. If you know the series, that should help. Luke and Lorelai are together and Rory is back with Dean and she just met Logan. So that's kind of where we are. I'm pretty sure it's season five. And then we watched... We're in the Halloween American movie edition time. Um, so we watched last weekend, we watched Hocus Pocus 1 and Hocus Pocus 2. Um, I was not, it, Hocus Pocus 2 was fine. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't as good as the original, but I didn't expect it to be. Um, but it was fine. It was a good sequel. That's kind of how I'm describing it. It was a good sequel. So upcoming adventures, um, we're going to Rhinebeck. I've said that um, this coming weekend. And we want to take Daria to Natural Bridge, which is about four hours from us. And the dogs will be able to go on that adventure with us. Um, so that would be fun. That might be a fun adventure in October when the leaves are changing and, you know, fall is just beautiful. We also want to take her to the Virginia Safari Park, um, which if you live anywhere near the mountains of Virginia, check that place out. It is so cool. Um, so that's on the short list. We haven't really decided anything past Rhinebeck just because that's like a big adventure and so I think we're just gonna focus on we're just gonna focus on that and then um when we get home we'll figure out what our next adventures are but I do like the idea of going to Natural Bridge during the fall because it'll be I just think it'll be really beautiful and it won't be too hot I should be able to walk and knit which is always good get some of that Christmas knitting done so that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you if you are a new viewer, um, please leave a comment down below and just say hi so that um, so that I know that you're here and I can comment back and um, get to know you a little bit. Um, and if you're a returning viewer, just know well new and returning, just know how much I appreciate everybody who watches. And everybody who participates in the chat and comments on Instagram and is in the Ravelry group, all that. every Everybody who joins me in this little, in my little side of the internet, um, 
you just touched my heart in a way that I don't know that I can really explain. So thank you so much for joining me today. And every time you tune in, I really appreciate it. I hope what you are knitting brings you lots and lots of joy. And I will see you in one week for the Rhinebeck vlog. Happy knitting!